Hello, everyone. Good day. I am your English teacher for today, Mom Jeremy A. Kaduyak, and welcome to our virtual class in English 10. Today, we are going to go through your English 10, Module 7 of Quarter 2, Multimodal and its Elements. But before we start, make sure that you have with you your English 10 Module 7 of Quarter 2, your pen, and of course, your notebook. Our lesson for today will gear you to compose text which include multimodal elements. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to identify the elements of multimodals, transcode emojis into plain text or word, create instructional video or script for presentation using animated images. Let us now do your first task, entitled what I know. Let us see your prior knowledge about our lesson for today. Directions Read and answer the questions below with your knowledge of the topic to be discussed. Use a clean sheet of paper for your answers. Write the letter of your choice. Number 1. What is the other term for pictures? A. Illustration B. Still image C. Image Number 2. Facial expressions is an example of A. Spatial B. Gestural C. Audio Number 3. Line, shape, size, and symbols are resources of A. Digital Multimodal Text B. Live Multimodal Text C. Visual Multimodal Text Number 4 This element of multimodal text observes the vocabulary and grammar A. Linguistic B. Visual C. Spatial Number 5 This element of multimodal text uses color, images, and vector A. Aural B. Spatial C. Visual Number 6 It is the movement of the body the facial expression A. Gestural B. Spatial C. Aural Number 7 Animation, infographics, screencast, and ebook are examples of A. Digital multimodal B. Print multimodal C. Physical multimodal Number 8. Multimodal can be print, blank, or digital. Provide your answer. Number 9. Language modes Listening, speaking, reading, writing, viewing, and videographing are often integrated in composing multimodal text. Is it true? Or false. Number 10. Emojis are considered as gestural and visual. Is it true or false? And now, let's check your answers. Number 1. B. Number 2. B. Number 3. C. Number 4. A. Number 5. C. Number 6. A. Number 7. A. 
Number 8, Physical Number 9, False Number 10, True Did you get high scores of 10 over 10? Don't worry, because we are going to start our lesson for today. Our lesson 1 is Multimodal Text. Communication is not only relaying messages through voice and letters. It does not limit its purpose to written and verbal text. Many texts are multimodal, where meaning is communicated through combinations of two or more modes. Modes include written language, spoken language, and patterns of meaning that are visual, audio, gestural, tactile, and spatial. Multimodal texts include picture books, textbooks, graphic novels, comics, and posters, where meaning is conveyed to the reader through varying combinations of visual or still image, written language, and spatial modes. Digital multimodal texts such as film, animation, slideshows, e-posters, digital stories, and web pages convey meaning through combinations of written and spoken language, visual or still and moving image, audio, gestural, and spatial modes. Live multimodal texts, for example, dance, performance, and oral storytelling convey meaning through combinations of modes such as gestural, spatial, spoken language, and audio. Visual text, for example, representation of people, objects, and places can be conveyed using choices of visual semiotic resources such as line, shape, size, line and symbols, while written language would convey this meaning through sentences using noun groups and adjectives which are written or typed on paper or a screen. And now, let us proceed to the elements of multimodal text. A text may be defined as multimodal when it combines two or more semiotic systems. Here are the elements of multimodal text. Number 1. Linguistic Vocabulary Structure Grammar of oral or written language Number 2. Visual Color Vectors and viewpoint in still and moving images Number 3. Audio or oral Volume Pitch and rhythm of music and sound effects Number 4. Gestural Movement, facial expression, and body language And number 5. Spatial Proximity, direction, position of layout, organization of objects in space Multimodal text can be print, physical or digital Below are examples of types of multimodal text movies, booklets, infographics, sketch noting books, emails, podcasts, advertisements, newscasts, book trailers, animation, images with annotation, comics, visual note taking, tutorial guides. Typed drawing, text messages, screencasts, blogging, presentations, broadcasts, mind map, ebooks, diagrams, cards, letters, posters, videos. 
The NSW syllabus for the Australian curriculum defines modes, multimodal and language modes as comprising more than one mode. A multimodal text uses a combination of two or more communication modes, for example, print, image, and spoken text, as in film or computer presentations. And now, we will proceed to your task 2, entitled, What's New? Activity 1. Picture or Movie Interpretation Directions Give the proper meaning or interpretation of the given emojis. Let me give you an example. For the image broken heart and time, it simply means break time. Are you now set for your number one? Then try! Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. And number ten. And now, let's try to check your answers. For number one, it means running late. Number two, it means good luck. Number three, it means party time. Number four, it means be quiet. Five, it means you go girl. Number six, it means see you soon. Number seven, it means be on time. Eight, it means no monkey business. Nine, it means laughing out loud. And ten, it means call you today. Did you get all the items right? You are doing great for our first task. And now, let us proceed to what is it. Let us dig deeper of what is multimodal text and its five modes. The five modes. 1. Visual 2. Oral or audio 3. Gestural 4. Linguistic or alphabetic and 5. Spatial Visual The visual mode refers to the images and characters that people see. We have an example below. The no guns symbol has no alphabetic text and no sound. Like many signs, it relies for its meaning on visual information. Aural or audio. The aural mode is focused on sound including, but not limited to, music, sound effects, ambient noises, silence, tone of voice in spoken language, volume of sound, emphasis, and accent. Example. The recording of a public speech that was delivered orally to a live audience, such as President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, State of the Nation's Address, 2020. 
The third mode is the gestural. The gestural mode refers to the way movement is interpreted. Facial expressions, hand gestures, body language, and interaction between people are all gestural modes. This has always been important in face-to-face -face conversations and in theater, but it has become more apparent on the web lately with the wide use of YouTube and other video players. The fourth mode is linguistic or alphabetic. The linguistic mood refers to written or spoken words. The mood includes word choice, the delivery of written or spoken text, the organization of words into sentences and paragraphs, and the development and coherence of words and ideas. Linguistic is not always the most important mood. This depends on the other modes at play in the text the type of text, and other factors. Linguistic is probably the most widely used mode because it can be both read and heard on both paper and audio. The linguistic mode is the best way to express details and list. The last mode is spatial. The spatial mode, as the name implies, refers to the arrangement of elements in space. It involves the organization of items and the physical closeness between people and objects. A good example of spatial mode might be the different ways in which chairs and desks are arranged in a classroom. Here is a traditional classroom. Individual desks are arranged in orderly rows facing the front of the room to make the teacher who would stand before the chalkboard the center of attention. The teacher also stands at a distance from the students. The students who sit in the back could hardly even see the board. By contrast, in this advertisement for collaborative classrooms, we see the chairs and desks clustered in small groups so that students can work together on projects. The classroom is also decentered, which suggests that the teacher and students are working together as partners rather than in a hierarchical manner. All of the people are in close proximity to one another. And now, let's proceed to your next task, entitled What's more? Picture or image perception. Directions. Determine the type of modes using the pictures given. Just write your answers in your notebook. Here are the choices. Visual mode, aural or audio mode, gestural mode, linguistic mode, and spatial mode. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number 8 Number 9 And number 10 And now, let's try to check your answers. For number 1, the answer is spatial. Number 2, it is visual. Number three answer, linguistics. Number four, it is gestural. Number five, it is spatial. Number six, 
It is visual. For number 7, the answer is linguistics. Number 8, it is gestural. For number 9, it is audio. And for number 10, the answer is audio. Did you get all the answers right? Well, I bet you did. And now, let's proceed to your next activity, entitled, What I Have Learned. Activity 3, Transcribing Challenge. Directions. Transcribe the given emojis or pictures into plain text. Use a clean sheet of paper for your transcription. Are you ready? Then, let's start. COVID-19, a virus. In the last of 2019, there have been reported a spillover of virus from to in Wuhan. Since then, the entire was affected by the said, causing a lot of to be and resulting to some by the of March the spread to the different neighboring until it reached the part of the was one of the that was badly affected due to the of cases of affected by the corona reported the World Health Organization declared a pandemic crisis resulting to immobilization of the of the where were forced to due to the ordered by the this issue made a lot of to and lost their and the decided that all Filipino are already required to strictly stay at and any with other. Months later, all the Filipino were required to wear and practice proper in order to the spread of the And now, let's try to check your answers. COVID-19, a deadly virus. In the last quarter of 2019, there have been reported a spillover of the virus from animals to humans in Wuhan, China. Since then, the entire world was affected by the said virus, causing a lot of people to be sick and hospitalized, resulting to some deaths. By the first week of March, the virus spread to the different neighboring countries until it reached the eastern part of the globe. America was one of the countries that was badly affected due to the increasing numbers of cases of patients affected by the coronavirus reported. The World Health Organization declared a pandemic crisis resulting to the immobilization of the economy of the world, where establishments were forced to close due to the quarantine ordered by the government. This issue made a lot of people to suffer and lost their jobs. The Philippine government decided that all Filipino citizens are already required to strictly stay at home and avoid any physical contact with other people. Months later, all the Filipino citizens were required to wear masks and practice proper hygiene in order to minimize the spread of the virus. Did you all transcribe the images and pictures into plain text correctly? Great job! And now let's proceed to your next activity, entitled, What I Can Do. Activity 4, Instructional Video Making Script. You are given two options for this activity. Directions. Option 1. 
Create a 10-minute video presentation illustrating the images provided below using GoPro application in your cell phones or movie maker in your laptops. Save the video in a JPEG file. Option 2. Write a script for a presentation using the images provided below to prevent the spread of COVID-19 virus. Here is the picture or illustration that you are going to use in your Activity 4. I would like to remind everyone that you have one day to finish this activity and you can send your output to the teacher's email address or messenger. Since we are done with our discussion, let us now proceed to your assessment. Directions Read and answer the questions below with your knowledge of the topic discussed. Use a clean sheet of paper for your answers. Write the letter of your choice. Number 1. What is the other term for pictures? A. Illustration B. Still image C. Image Number 2. Facial expressions is an example of A. Spatial B. Gestural C. Audio Number 3. Line, shape, size, and symbols are resources of A. Digital multimodal text B. Live multimodal text C. Visual multimodal text Number 4. This element of multimodal text observes the vocabulary and grammar. A. Linguistic B. Visual C. Spatial Number 5. This element of multimodal text uses color, images, and vector. A. Aural B. Spatial C. Visual Number 6. It is the movement of the body, the facial expression. A. Gestural B. Spatial C. Aural Number 7. Animation, infographics, screencast, and ebook are examples of A. Digital Multimodal B. Print Multimodal C. Physical Multimodal Number 8. Multimodal can be print, blank, or digital. Provide your answer. Number 9. Language Modes Listening, speaking, reading, writing, viewing, and videographing are often integrated in composing multimodal text. Is it true or false? Number 10. Emojis are considered as gestural and visual. Is it true or false? And now, Let's try to check your answers. Number 1, B. Number 2, B. Number 3, C. Number 4, A. Number 5, C. Number 6, A. Number 7, A. Number 8, Physical. 9, false and 10 true did you now get all the answers correct great job and now let's proceed to your next activity for your additional activities it is entitled tell me a story directions 
compose an exposition text using multimodal text based on the pictures, still images given below. Use the given rubrics as your guide to do the activity. Use these rubrics as your guide to do the activity. On the screen is the illustration or still image that you have to use in your Tell Me a Story activity. I would like to remind everyone that you have one day to finish this activity and you can send your output to the teacher's email address or messenger. But before we end up our lesson for today, let us have a recap on our discussion. Remember that we have elements of multimodals. Number one, linguistic. Vocabulary, structure, grammar of oral or written language. Number two, visual. It is the color, vectors, and viewpoint in still and moving images. Number three, audio or oral. The volume, pitch and rhythm of music and sound effects. Number four, gestural, the movement, facial expression, and body language. And lastly, number five, spatial, the proximity, direction, position of layout, organization of objects in space. And that's all for today's lesson. Good job, students! See you again on our next virtual class. Once again, I am your English teacher, Mom Cherry May A. Kaduyak. Goodbye and God bless everyone!